Movie synopsis here. The film begins while showing a statue of a goddess. It was the symbol of money and food. The people believe that it makes money and divides it among them. It is believed in the movie when this world wasn't there this goddess has delivered many babies. Its first son Huster whom it loves a lot. But he wants to takes its money, food, and power. He has taken gold from his mother. But when he takes the food from it his siblings attack him. They save the food. His siblings were about to end him. The statue that is shown at the start of the movie saved him. It gets the punishment for its greed that none will worship it. Many years passed. It keeps its son hidden in it, the place Tombad where the statue has placed its son with it. The people make that place a temple, they start worshipping Hister. It was forbidden to worship it. The people were worshipping it the other goddesses become furious. The place where the Hoster's temple the goddesses cursed it. Because of it, it started raining heavily in that village, it didn't stop. A lady is shown in the village Tombad after many years. The lady comes to the place of the government. There was a pedagogue alive. His name was Sirkar. That's why this place was called the place of Sirkar. She asks for the gold coin from Sirkar. Sirkar replies you will not get this coin easily. You have to do something about this. Later, the scene shifts to the sons of the lady. Her elder brother was named Vinayakrao and the other was named Sadashiv Rao. They were waiting for their mother. Because she daily goes to Sarkar. Today she was late. Her sons talk to each other who will give food to grandmother? An old lady lives in their house they called her grandmother. She was so aged. Her body was in a bad condition. Her sons come inside the house opening the door. Their mother also arrives after some time. Her son asks his mother have you got the gold coin? The scene shifts and they discover Sarkar died. They do the funeral of Sarkar. The lady asks her sons they will not live here. We know this is the old story that is shown. There weren't cars or motorcycles at that time. This lady asks her sons to go to another city. The scene shifts and her son is shown sitting on the branch of the tree. Suddenly, he falls from there. He becomes injured. His other brother Vinayak Rao goes to call his mother. His mother takes him to the doctor. Her son Vinayak Rao asks her what should I say to grandmother when she will feel hungry? His mother says give her the food. If she will tease you says sleep grandmother otherwise Huster will come. It happens the same. Suddenly, his grandmother says do you want treasure? Being greedy Vinayak goes near her door. Maybe the grandmother will tell the way, to treasure but grandmother says, when he comes inside there is a treasure at Sarkar's place. The grandmother attacks him before Vinayak asks something else. The grandmother beats him and says today I will eat you. Vinayak tries to remember the name that his mother has told him. The grandmother pulls Vinayak and takes him inside to cut his neck. Vinayak finally, remembers the word. The word his mother has told him. Sleep grandmother otherwise Huster will arrive. Hearing this, the grandmother sleeps. Meanwhile, Vinayak's mother arrives, Vinayak asks his mother about his brother. His mother doesn't tell him anything because his brother has died, his mother says we have to leave this place immediately. In the morning, they leave in the bow to move. Vinayak again asks his mother about the gold coin. Meanwhile, his mother gives Vinayak a gold coin. Vinayak says if we will not feed grandmother maybe she will tell us about treasure. His mother makes him quiet here. She takes oath from him that he will not come to this Tumbad village ever. Maybe his mother has learned the lesson of her greed after losing her son. After it, the scene after 15 years is shown. Vinayak is shown as a grown elder. He again arrives in Tumbad village. Because greed is still in his heart about the treasure, his grandmother has told him. He comes to his home at first. He sees the grandmother is still alive. But there is a huge tree. Vinayak again asks his grandmother about the treasure. He says grandmother if you will tell me about the treasure we will divide it. His grandmother says now I don't want anything. I don't want to live anymore. He deals with his grandmother I will make you free if you will tell me about the treasure. His grandmother tells him many years ago, I was an expert in moving down in the well. Vinayak discovers the treasure is in the well. He also discovers about the place. The place where the well was. He also practices going down in the well. But he doesn't know how to take the treasure from there. Vinayak again goes to grandmother. The grandmother tells him the secret. Vinayak sets his house on fire including his grandmother because he has promised grandmother. When he comes to his house taking the gold coin. He sees his wife has started a small business. She sells cereal while crushing it. 
Vinayak says to his wife I will make you the queen. Now we will get a lot of money. The time will be changed. We are going to be rich. Vinayak goes to the pandit while making himself fine, the pandit from whom he took debt. He shows him the gold coin and asks him what does it cost? Vinayak returns his debt. The debt he has taken from the pandit. Like this, Vinayak sells the gold coins in the city while taking them from Tumbad village. He was becoming rich day by day. Vinayak's house was also changed like this. His condition was also good. There was greed in that pandit's heart. Because Vinayak has taken some money from him. The pandit asks Vinayak to make him his partner in his job. Vinayak ignores what the pandit said. The pandit was greedy to get the gold coins while going to Tumbad village. The pandit gives money to a lady for two days. To make her stay with Vinayak and he will discover about gold coming from Tumbad village. The girl tells everything to Vinayak and greed for more money. The scene shifts to the Tumbad village. Pandit is shown to reach the Tumbad village. Vinayak was also behind him. He was spying on Pandit. Vinayak willingly shows everything to the Pandit. His routine. At what time he does everything. The Pandit sees Vinayak goes down in a well. Then he takes many gold coins from there after some time. The Pandit does the same. Later. Panda goes inside the well because the way was congested. The walls of the well were of red color. It was clear here that someone is breathing. Panda notices a small trunk. There was a small wheat doll when he opens it. As he holds the doll Huster feels the aroma of wheat. The Huster also eats the doll along with the Panda. Later, Vinayak arrives. He sees Panda is in the same condition which his grandmother was. Panda has helped Vinayak. He helps him and releases him. Maybe he was depressed. There was a curse because humans can't stay alive for always. This was Huster's curse whenever someone come to his place. Or he will bite him that human will remain alive always. But the human body will ruin because of being immortal. As the grandmother's body is shown at the start. Likewise, this pandit's body is shown. The story shifts after some years and Vinayak's son is shown. He was handicapped. Vinayak has made a small workstation in his home for his son. There he practices going down in the well. He notices that in which time he has completed this task. Now the government has decided to take that place under them. Vinayak becomes worried after knowing this. That now how will he go there to get the gold coins? Because Vinayak was getting old. He starts training his son. Vinayak brings his son to Tumbad village. He also teaches him to make wheat doll while bringing him here. He asks him to add some stones to the wheat doll. Like this. Huster will take time to eat it. You will get time to do the robbery. Vinayak's son keeps a wheat doll when they go to the well. Huster comes there while smelling it. Later, Vinayak and his son come upside. Vinayak scolds his son but Vinayak's son has picked a gold coin from there. Vinayak's son says we will give Huster a doll. Like this, if we will give Huster many dolls he will be busy eating them. We can bring a lot of gold from there. The next day, Vinayak and his son implement their plan. Later, Vinayak and his son go towards the Tumbad village. They made many dolls while sitting outside the well. As they go down the well, they surround the trunk with wheat. Huster will not come near them because of it. They throw many dolls there. As they throw the dolls Husters arrive there according to the dolls. But Huster couldn't come to the circle of the wheat. Because Huster has taken all the money from his mother. His brothers attacked him when he was about to take cereal. There was a debt on him that he can't take cereal from his hands. The humans were giving cereal to Husters. Why didn't he eat the cereal after so many years? This is the reason he can't cross the circle. The night appears and they were waiting while sitting in the circle. The quantity of Husters will be less as the dolls were finished. They also have a huge doll. Vinayak ties the small dolls on his body while making them from the huge doll. Because it was compulsory for one of them to do sacrifice. Vinayak sacrifices himself because of it. He saves his son. Now he comes out of the well. As Husters go behind Vinayak, they touch with a circle and end. Finally, the moment arrives when all the Husters were dead. Vinayak's son also comes out of the well. He sees his father coming out of the well and his father's condition was the same. Like his grandmother and the pandit. He gives a sack of gold coins to his son. Vinayak says to his son you want all this. Meanwhile, Vinayak's son remembers what his father said. What is the benefit of this life we will become immortal with Huster's curse? The life is useless that is in trouble and grief. Thinking this, he burns his father's body. 
We get this moral from this movie Greed is a Curse. Here the movie ends. How do you feel about this movie? Please like, share, and subscribe and you can also watch our more videos.